It is time for us to turn once again to our stalwart reporter, uh, Ruth Epstein from the Republican American. Good morning, uh, Ruth. Well, I've been caught lots of things. I don't know about stalwart. But stalwart. <laughs> oh, stalwart's a compliment. That's right. Oh, I know. Yes. I know. I just Reliable stalwart, especially in this time where people don't use their eyeballs as much yes. as they could, perhaps? Of course, so most young people probably think stalwart means you put things off and you're an old-fashioned. <laughs> or or you have some sort of area that has warts on it. Exactly. I was right. thinking of the Harry Potter <laughs> right. character. Or, yeah. Oh, Hogwarts. Or, or Broomhilda. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Anyway. Anyway, how are you guys this morning? Good. Preparing for a very busy week. Yes, it's our favorite week, first of the month. So we have the uh, marathon tonight. Uh, Salisbury Board of Selectmen, followed by Region 1 Board of Ed, and of course over in Canaan, the Selectmen are also meeting, and I'm sure there are other things on your calendar. Salisbury Board of Finance tonight is meeting at 6.30. Oh. Uh, They're meeting tonight, uh, the Conservation Inland Wetlands Committee meeting at 6.30 in Salisbury. But of course, uh, like you said, North Canaan, the Board of Selectmen meeting there. Uh, But it doesn't stop there, because if you go to uh, uh, tomorrow... You've got the Historic District Commission meeting at 9 o'clock in the morning in Salisbury. You've got the Housing Authority in Sharon at 5.30. Uh, Canaan Board of Education. Yeah, uh, really? Uh, yeah. Uh, oh. I've got something here. Yeah, Tuesday, April 2nd, oh. 6 o'clock. Uh, the, oh, um, not the Canaan. That's the Falls Village Board of Education. Right. That's right, right. Falls right. Village yes, Board. Yes, Falls Village Board of Ed and Cornwall Selectmen meet tomorrow night as well. And the Sharon Board of Finance also have a special meeting on Tuesday at 7 Oh, boy. So well, it's, it's just, impossible. Are you going to have people out there? We are. We've good. Got, we've, good. I'm pretty good. sure we've got, like, uh, I'm pretty sure we've got uh, one, two, three, four camera people that are going to be. Oh, about, super. Which good. hopefully going to cover the right things. <laughs> right. Yeah, make them. But also, I want to mention this week is the week where there's a spring cleanup in Sharon. Oh. It starts today, uh, the trails. Uh, the Good Buddy Preserve is today. Tomorrow is the Mary Moore Preserve. Uh, on Wednesday, the Hamlin Preserve. On Thursday, uh, Sharon Mountain Preserve, where uh, the um, uh, Sharon Land Trust asked people to get out there and help them, and they, they clean the trails. Oh, that's great. That's yeah. terrific. It, once the snow melts, you do get to see some debris, so it's nice to get out there and clean up. And if you like spaghetti, the Sharon Center School 8th grade is hosting the spaghetti uh, dinner yes, on Saturday. Spaghetti dinner, yep. That's for the 8th grade to go to Washington. Yeah, so. yeah. Um, yeah, and I'm sure there are, are other things intertwined here that, once again, will come up when we least expect it. You know, I got a press release, and I forgot all about this. The Pat Pallone uh, Chamber of Commerce Scholarship in Falls Village is up. Uh, Northwest Connecticut Chamber of Commerce is where you can find out more about that. Oh, uh, very Pat, good. Uh, yeah, very, very nice. Good. Yeah. So. Um, so we had sort of a busy week, even though it was the last week of the month. Uh, again, we're facing all kinds of budgets. Um, we're still working on getting uh, some more out there. But uh, some are real high, like Falls Village is getting hit really bad this year because of enrollment at the high school and the grade school. And Sharon, we did a story, they're sort of, um, their numbers are dwindling, so their numbers aren't, their budget numbers aren't looking too bad. But, uh, and we have next week the hearing on the Region 1 budget. So uh, people really need to put that on the calendar April 4th. Get out there uh, to the high school and express your concerns or your praise for the, the um, 2019-20 proposed budget plan. And that plan is its interesting. I think it shows that it's staying pretty much flat. Yeah. But I think you could take a look, folks, at that money that is being transferred out of other places in the budget into the central office budget. That's, yes. That's the stickler that, that parents are talking about. And yeah. if you watch that CABE meeting, I don't know if you watched that CABE meeting that was held, uh, you know, the CABE is, to me, a pretty destructive force. They... They really uh, teach administrators, to, in my opinion, how to hide and move things around. Well, I'm very, I'm very surprised uh, that uh, about about K being like that. Uh, it's become more a real lobbyist, um, I think, as the years have gone on. Uh, seems to me, um, and uh, yeah. <laughs> Interesting. More, more, more. It's it just, it's just, it's it just more divisive. What it does, yeah, well, it, 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 it adds to the us against them mentality. Yeah, and uh, well, my th- 
thing, again, as a journalist, is the transparency. Yeah. And I don't think that is always there when no. needed. Um, and I think the public really needs to um, be kept aware of what is happening, and it's that's not always the case, uh, I think. And that's what, as we know in the past, that uh, has caused rifts because uh, they feel things are going on behind closed doors and they're not quite aware, and yet it's taxpayers' money. So um, um, I think there was a, a good uh, meeting at the ABC this week, the All Boards Committee meeting, where they discussed, um, well, they discussed the FOI concerns, mm-hmm. um, and a couple of the members talked about the high cost of um, legal fees for those um those complaints and uh, requ- F- FOI requests. Um, it was an interesting uh, conversation, and then there was um, talk about the salary for the the contract negotiations for the superintendent, and um, you know who who really has the authority. Well, it's been given to the ABC committee, but the ABC committee hasn't negotiated anything yet, and yet it's in the budget, and so there were concerns raised by. A member on that front. So once again, I think it's important that the and during. I just wanted to say during that meeting, Doug Cahill from Sharon said, you know, it's very important that people feel they know what's going on. Um, it's important to uh, for relationships. And that board, the Sharon board, just as we know, went through a grievance and uh, lo- the board lost. The teachers won. And Doug Cahill said throughout, we have so much a better relationship now with the teachers because of all that. So I think they really need to be cognizant of their relationships, not only with teachers, between teachers and boards, but boards and the public. You know, it was an interesting thing. The teachers uh, really responded to an overreach by the superintendent. Yes. And they were successful. And, and they were successful. And, uh, that had to do with conferences and times you have to yeah. be at school. Right. Yeah. But the, the key is communication, and absolutely, it just, it, it just absolutely. seems as though, uh, it's a little um, light. You know, the board, the Region 1 board had talked about the need for open communication. They even formed a communications board, <laughs> a committee. But can you but, com- uh, <laughs> I, don't, I, I still think it, there's very work hard to, to be get done. Through, no? All right. So, hey, guess what's coming up this this weekend? What's coming up this weekend? The spring weekend? splash to benefit the FFA oh. and uh, uh, that Lake for Lake. It is? Yes. Oh, my goodness. Is that Sunday? <laughs> I, I'm not sure what they I know it's this weekend. Oh, I didn't know that. I yeah. hadn't heard. It's, 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 oh. it's warm back. It, yeah, well, get your bathing suit on, Marshall. Uh, no, I don't think so. <laughs> I never, ever participated in things like that. No. <laughs> You're not a penguin plunger. I, I like no. to go into a pool that's about 75 degrees. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or a hot tub. That's I, I, I remember the first time I had uh, the opportunity to, because uh, the Atlantic was always very cold, and I was mm-hmm. just, I stood mm-hmm. there with my arms going, I don't know what's wrong with you people. Um, and we once went down to Jamaica, and uh, it's like, well, try this. I like, no, no. And walking in, it was just wonderful. Yeah. Um, I just wanted to say there was a great cemetery talk tour this weekend in Sharon uh, by the Historical Society. And then there was the reception at the brewery for Brian Oler to thank him for his service. So, oh, and by the way, the Interlaken this weekend, yes, once again was packed to the gills for their fundraising for uh, when they, you know, when they have these brunches mm-hmm. to benefit. It was, and uh, you knew this was going to happen. Falls. It was for the uh, Salisbury uh, Visiting Nurse Association, uh, so which you, so, has a new director. Well, yeah, who's yes. the new director now? Nancy Deming. Okay, just, that, I just uh, interviewed her this week. In and, Salisbury, uh, right? Yeah. Yes, uh, Donna DiMartino was the interim for a while, while Michelle, after Michelle Kearns uh, resigned. And so uh, they just named one. And, yeah, how many uh, times Donna's retired? <laughs> Donna never will <laughs> retire. She will be back. She will be back. Uh, yeah, the Spring Splash is on Sunday. Ah, it is. Uh, glad you at told Town me. Town Grove yeah. in Lakeville, yep. Okay. Uh, once again. Very uh, good. It starts, the registration begins at noontime. And, uh, yeah, it's, I like watching it from the shore. <laughs> I, <know. laughs> I don't know why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? I don't even like watching from the shore because it's just, I, I can't imagine yeah. uh, when, it's, when it's 55 degrees outside and you're getting into water that's mm. uh, around 32, 33. Well, I, at it's... least the ice is out. Don Malin, the official observer, gave us the word. The ice is officially out of the lake, um, so they won't have to be crunching and sawing into the ice to get in there as they have in years past, which was 
just brutal, just yeah. brutal. All right. So, so another busy week, and uh, we're on our way. All right, put your roller skates on. There we go. <laughs> okay, Ruth. Okay, guys. Take Thanks. care. Take care. Ruth Epstein from the Republican American with the Republican American Report here on Robin Hood Radio. You can find all her stories uh, in the newspaper or online at rep-am.com.